President Trump's former campaign chairman, Paul Manafort, intentionally lied to the special counsel, the FBI, and a federal grand jury about matters that are material to the Russia investigation, Judge Amy Berman Jackson ruled Wednesday. As a result, a plea deal he struck with the government in September has been voided. So what do we know about Manafort's lies? The judge ruled that he intentionally misled investigators about three key things. Perhaps most significant, the judge said Manafort lied about his interactions with a Russian political operative named Konstantin Kalimnik. Kalimnik is a man the FBI has assessed to have had ties to Russian intelligence in 2016. He was charged last year by the special counsel for conspiring with Manafort to obstruct justice, and he remains at large. One of Manafort's interactions with Kalimnik occurred in New York in August of 2016, while Manafort was the head of the Trump campaign, prosecutors said. In a court filing last month, Manafort's lawyers inadvertently revealed that Manafort gave Kalimnik polling data and discussed a Ukrainian peace plan. That peace plan may have included lifting sanctions on Russia. Prosecutors also outlined other interactions the two men had, including during the presidential transition, the inauguration, and even in the winter of 2018. And they noted that Manafort's interactions with Kalimnik go very much to the heart of what the special counsel is investigating, which is Russian interference in the U.S. election and any possible coordination between Trump associates and Moscow. The judge also said Manafort lied about a $125,000 payment he received in 2017. Many of the details of this payment are redacted in court documents, but prosecutors said Manafort lied about where it came from and what it was for. And finally, the judge ruled that Manafort lied about a separate Department of Justice investigation that remains unknown to the public. In a sealed hearing last week, prosecutors noted Manafort's history, saying, The defendant coming into this had lied to the Department of Justice, had lied to banks, had lied to his own defense counsel, had violated court orders, had lied to his tax preparers, had lied to his bookkeepers. In other words, there were so many lies. Manafort's lies could cost him greatly. He was already convicted by a federal grand jury in Virginia last summer on tax fraud and bank fraud charges, and he pleaded guilty to additional charges to avoid a second trial in Washington. Now Manafort won't get credit for cooperating with the government. He's scheduled to be sentenced on March 13th.